Welcome back. This is Nancy from Fish Kisses. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another Plan With Me video. Here we are in May. Um, hopefully you had a good April and um, it didn't fly by like mine did, but uh, it sure did. And I can't believe we're already May. So back uh, down to my favorite month, which is the last month of the school year. Yay! Which means summer is around the corner. And um, really looking forward to summer so really looking forward to getting into May <laughs> so here we go um, still definitely in my new Shik Sparrow Black Beauty Deluxe Traveler's Notebook uh, I am enjoying this so much you guys that I had to go out and purchase its little buddy which is the personal size the exact same thing same stitching same everything I'll do a little review on this guy coming up but oh man, um, I'm really so happy with both of these products from Shik Sparrow and uh, really happy to have this. So look out for that video, it's coming soon. All right, well let's get into this May plan with me. Um, this month, let me make sure that I'm in the right spot. This month for May, we are doing flowers. And uh, I know a lot of people are doing flowers, but hey, it's May flowers, you can't do can't not do flowers in May. So, I mean, I guess you can, but I'm doing flowers. I, I have this um, sticker kit. Let me go ahead and show you. This is an old traveler. This is my very first one, you guys. It has turned into my sticker book um, where I have all my stickers because I have learned you need to keep them all in one spot. Okay, so um, yeah, this happy memory keeping. I got this at Michael's. I wanna say it was about $20, um, but I had a coupon and a gift card, so for me, it wasn't very much. And I just really like it because it has a lot of different holidays and it kinda goes throughout the year, and so you can just kinda keep using it. And so I went ahead and tore out all the flowers and uh, pages, and I've actually been using them for other things, other random things, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use these. And so I've cut some out and uh, I'm gonna definitely use that one. I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna, I don't know, probably won't use those, but um, as you can see, I have already started using these, but I am gonna use some of these and hopefully it comes out good. Um, I have some other stickers that I might use here that I have, that I got from um, my little thrift store visit and um, <clears throat> some other random stuff over there. But uh, yeah, so definitely gonna do that this month. Um, also, I am featuring my Micron Pigma brush pens with the brush tip, and I'm gonna definitely use those. And so I'm excited about those. I just got those a while back, and definitely continue with my Papermate Inkjoy gel pens. These things are amazing. I have them all over the place. I got the big packet. And uh, I've got some here, I've got some at school. As you can see, there's one there. I've got one over here. I mean, they're just, I love these things. Love, love, love. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna send you over to the voiceover. Okay, so this month is Mayflowers, and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this little quote that I found, or that came with my sticker set. So, I'm gonna use it. And um, just keeping my cover page very, very simple. Um, I don't want to clutter it up too much with drawings because those stickers are so vibrant and pretty. I just want them to be pretty much the focus. Um, using my Micron brush pens and I'm really enjoying them. They're a little hard to use or maybe they're just a little advanced for me because I'm still learning. But the brush tip is very soft and so you kind of have to already know what you're doing I think a little bit um, I just need to keep practicing and uh, I'll get better and let's see so also oh my lines here are getting a little squiggly you know I know I have this already drawn out but then I'm thinking what's the point if um, you're gonna make your own little squiggly lines everywhere so that's okay I don't mind how it came out um, I like I like the loose look of it so it's okay
So moving on to my monthly spread, I am going back to the traditional calendar type monthly spread and uh, just changing it up by um, changing up the boxes, giving it a little bit of a different shape and uh, just trying to just trying to do something different. You know, you get tired of the same old squares, but I think these are just big enough for me to put everything that I need. And so I look forward to using the spread this month and we'll see how it works for me. So I kind of made a little mistake and put two extra boxes, but luckily I've got these stickers here and I'm gonna go ahead and just use these to cover them up. Uh, the good thing about stickers is, yeah, they cover up your mistakes, so that's great. And uh, then I can go ahead and, I don't know, add a little quote here or just make it a little uh, addition to additional notes or next month, um, I can find some use for it. All right, so moving on to my mood and habit tracker. This month, my mood tracker is gonna be flowers. So I am just drew down a bunch of stems, and uh, the, um, every day I'll go ahead and draw in a different kind of flower reflecting my mood. Um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to look at different flowers and try to learn how to draw some different, you know, I don't know, I guess I just draw the traditional, you know, sunflower um, type of flower, but um, yeah, I wanna go ahead and do something different. So I started off with these red poppies. Here in Georgetown where I live, we've got red poppies, and um, I thought I'd start off with those, and I really love those, so those are like, yay, love day. <laughs> I love the day, it's good, and um, Maybe just kind of find, like I said, different flowers to, to uh, I don't know, to express my mood. And we'll have to just go from there. My habit tracker um, is the same as last month. And I've got my icons at the top with my numbers running down on the left. And so every day I'm just going to dot in, put a little dot. Uh, on the habit that I did and so hopefully at the end of the month this will be all dotted up and um, I'll have a good month of good habits, but uh, it is interesting because If I don't then well You can you can just easily tell and I, that's kind of what I like about it.
Okay, so I'm moving on to my brain dump and my gratitudes page. Um, keeping it kind of like my cover page, very simple, just a um, little border around with some flowers. And um, went ahead and took off the memories and just put gratitude. Um, pretty much grateful for things that are happening every day, so that's pretty much like my memories. Um, plus, I am still working in my journal, my traveler's notebook, just journaling every day. So pretty much my memories go in there and um, don't need a double dip, so to speak, um, on memories. So on to my final spread, which is the weekly layout. Uh, kind of just changed some things around, got rid of the calendar up in the left-hand corner, wanted to keep the same feel of just a loose sketch happening here. And um, I'm finding that just one good space is all I need to fill in the week and, and uh, write down what I need. Um, I am putting right here on the top three weeks to go or just three more weeks just to remind myself that I can make it school's almost over and I can do it so um, I'm just kind of going through my stickers here finishing them off and placing them where I think they need to be and um, later on you'll see that I need to I kind of need to add some things because uh, just doesn't quite look right So pretty much done with my flower stickers and uh, now I'm just kind of going through and putting down my dates. Um, I want to fill in the space so I went ahead and busted out my thrift store stickers that I found and I'm going to go ahead and put those down. I've got some others that I might use but I really like these little braided, well they're not really braided but um, I just really like these they're really cool they have a lot of texture to them and um, I guess they were for scrapbooking but hey we use them for what, what we want right and um, also these little flowers here I didn't want to go too crazy and clutter it up too much but um, yeah I'm really liking these these thrift store stickers I'm gonna have to go back and see if I can find a few more um, yeah, I kind of decided to not go with too many of it because it just it was starting to look too busy to me. So definitely wanted to clean it up a little bit. So 
so I'm just doing my final flip throughs just kind of making sure I've got everything I need and making sure I've got everything I want and I don't know I feel like something's missing from the spread so I went back with these stickers and decided to cut out a little butterfly because I just something I just need something right there so yeah um, but um, yeah I'm really happy with the way this whole month came out and um, I'm really looking forward to May. I love May. I'm ready for the school year to be over and I'm just ready for summer. So I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope that this brings you some ideas for your bullet journal as well. And I hope you have a great May. And if you're a school teacher or you're getting off soon, then uh, hang in there and we will enjoy the summer together. Bye guys.